the IHA. Okay, thank you for the brilliant the operations. Now we move to the Q&A sections. Welcome to the moderators, the Professor Tan, Professor Chen, and the Professor Diao. I think most of the questions have been asked during the uh, procedure. Hi, okay. Hi, welcome I'm ready. Back. Brilliant. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, most of the questions have been uh, asked and answered during the procedure. You, you did the, not only a beautiful operation, you were able to Oh, thank uh, you. <laughs> My pleasure. I um, the follow up on my uh, question previously. I asked about the uh, switching from conventional uh, laparoscopic uh, cardiogenesis excision. Uh, uh, that you clarified that uh, if it were was three port, uh, you would um, switch. Uh, you will start the uh, suture uh, six, six o'clock, six o'clock, mm. uh, and then you would go around to uh, nine o'clock, uh, and then uh, 12, six and then to nine and six to three separately. So you would use uh, conventional, uh, so again, conventional, so uh, semicircle and then semicircle again. Yes, so, yes, and uh, then so anterior one from, so, uh, what? so one clockwise and then one anti-clockwise. Uh, uh, to complete the uh, suturing. Yes, yes. Uh, and anterior wall also uh, the same, same to the uh, single incision from uh, 3 to uh, 12 and then to 9. Uh, yes. And make, make the final nose at uh, 9 o'clock. Uh, I mean, for the conventional laparoscopy procedure. Um, there's a there's a comment on the uh, from the floor, brilliant operation, which I agree Thank is a you. brilliant operation. And uh, where did the drain exit in the skin? Is so it from the umbilical wound or from one of the port side? Well, one of the ports, the left side, the left. Thank you, the mm -hmm. the left side port from the three millimeter, uh, working pulse. The left side or the right side of the oh, oh, the, the right side of the patient, the, the left side of the surgeon, <laughs> sorry. Okay. And uh, do you routinely leave a drain or uh, some, uh, some cases you selectively do so? Mm, for those with uh, uh, severe infection uh, or perforation uh, or the sister with uh, large dissection plane in the uh, pancreatic segments will reserve a, a, a drain, usually uh, for three days. Uh, and if the uh, drainage volume decreased uh, and continue uh, three days, and each day less than uh, 30 mil uh, per day, and ultrasonographic show the, uh, the stat uh, ultrasonographic study showed no uh, abdominal fluid, then the uh, drainage tube will be removed. Yeah, uh, this is a single incision uh, operation. So the drain comes off the umbilicus, I gather. I gather. Yes, we uh, actually this uh, advantage of uh, uh, single incision laparoscopic H J. We use the amnical uh, incision, uh, which uh, we used also for the Rooks loop establishment. We do not need to use other incision, and um, and we do not need the uh, any. Uh, special designed the curved instrument because the younger infants and the uh, uh, small children they do not have uh, uh, too much spaces so the conventional street instrument can save the space for them uh, and also the cells can achieve the advanced goal of the minimal invasive surgery uh, our comparative study showed uh, uh, the OP time after the learning curve, the OP time is similar uh, between the cells and the uh, conventional laparoscopic group, and uh, post uh, post OP recovery also similar. Uh, it can achieve the um, scaliness, visual scaliness, and particularly it's um, uh, 
is beneficial for the small children because in small children, uh, their abdominal wall is uh, weak. Uh, the muscle layer and the facial layer is not very well developed, so uh, it can increase the uh, angulation between the um, telescope and the instrument. Uh, so it also increases the uh, freedom of the movements of the in instruments. And the distance between the uh, abdominal wall and the uh, um, Surgical field is shorter uh, in the small uh, children, so um, it's easier for it's uh, an increased uh, regulation between the uh, telescope and the two instrument. Uh, compared to the adults, is um, uh, have more beneficial and easier to uh, perform the cells in small children. Thank you. Yeah, I I just uh, uh, repeat what your message. In the tiny babies, triangulation is uh, exaggerated compared yes. to adults. Yeah. Yes. There's, a, there's another question um, from the floor. With your skills and in your center, when would you proceed for conventional port surgery? From the beginning, um, I, I guess it says, when do you do three ports? Uh, I, I, su I suppose this means when do you do three ports operation in your center? You know. uh, we start the uh, uh, conventional laparoscopy HJ uh, since 2001. And after 2011, we used the single incision laparoscopic technique. And we also expand this technique in, from a simple a uh, simple cortical cyst to, to uh, each type of uh, complicated cortical cyst, like uh, perforated CDC, uh, redo and uh, stage surgery uh, units, and uh, giant CDC. And after I... the learning curve, uh, I think the results is similar um, between the single incision and the conventional one. And is it now, now uh, these days, is there any situation where you would do three ports instead of a single incision uh, uh, operation? Uh, actually, nowadays, I think if we can do the laparoscopy, we can do single. <laughs> we, we rarely use the uh, conventional one. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Uh, I, I don't have further question about Prof. Tam, uh, in the addition. Thank you. Uh, no, maybe uh, just to follow up on the conventional versus sales, I, as I said, I, I could understand why you uh, advocate sales, but um, remembering that most centers outside of Beijing will be doing <laughs> maybe five cases a year. Uh -huh. uh, it's, it's asking a lot for them to firstly to start with sales. Uh, and if, if we say that the learning curve is 30 cases, then it will take them six years to, to even get to start. So I am just wondering that uh, while so you can showcase your exceptional skills with sales, for a workshop to popularize uh, the technique around the world, Okay. Uh, perhaps you should give some consideration as to what the poor guy is uh, who, <laughs> who will only perform <laughs> two to five cases a year should do uh, and give uh, also advice on that. Um, so that's my suggestion. And uh, I think that's why I ask uh, where you stand, where will you stand? Very basic questions, uh, like where you will stand for your instamosis, for the conventional um, um, laparoscopic three port um, surgery. Some of us might even need the fourth port or five fourth <laughs> port to, to help us. I mean, it's, uh, I I would say that uh, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, be determined. There's the uh, small number uh, of ports as to the success of <laughs> anyway, invasive you. surgery. I think we have to be practical. Uh, you also mentioned the fact that um, uh, you do a lot 
of um, patients in the newborn period, and the issue of triangulation is is less uh, uh, perhaps um, acute uh, with cells uh, in newborns. But uh, the corollary of that is that you may wish to suggest that for the inexperienced uh, laparoscopic surgeon, for the older children, uh, perhaps a conventional three-part surgery uh, wouldn't be a bad idea. Thank you for your comment. Okay, with that, I think we should uh, uh, close the Q&A session and move on to the next uh, item on your schedule. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Tan, Professor Jiang. Uh, thank uh, you for the audience.